Can you hear me, AJ? I can hear you. I can hear noise. I can't hear anyone talking yet. Hello. Hello, AJ. Can, can you hear me? Looks like you need to turn your speakers, your your speakers on. I can hear you. Hi. I can hear you. Can you hear me? Your your speaker. Your speakers. Can you talk? Yeah, can you hear me? Yeah, I can. Okay, good, good. Okay. So. I didn't know you English, of course. Can you hear me now? Yeah, I can hear you. All right, great. Great. So, are we going to work on you today or your wife? Or uh, I didn't your... know you could speak English. Yeah, I can uh, speak me. English. <laughs> on you, okay. Hello, that's your son? Yeah, he was my son. Okay. Is my cam on? Yeah, I can. I I got everything set up now. So, so let me uh one second. Let me grab magnets. They're in my in my workout bag. One second. I'm on the beach right now. <laughs> in my car. It's cold. Okay. Hello. So let's see. My name is. I, I'm working on you. My name is AJ. Can I act as proxy for AJ? Kanakar, yeah. Uh, Kanaka, Kanakar. Um, yeah, my name is AJ. Can I act as proxy for AJ? Yeah. Okay. Um, my name is Tim. Yeah, that's weak. My name is AJ. Yeah. Okay, good. Okay, so what do you, what's an issue we, we should start with? Oh yeah, okay, that's right. Uh, let's see. Uh, where, okay, let's let's do your voice. Let's do your 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 voice first. Your speaking. Yeah. You said okay. Yep. So is there an, is there an underlying reason why AJ has a problem with his speech that we can address right now? Yeah. Is it something on the right side? Yeah. Is it pathogens? Is it structural? Okay. Some kind of structural issue. <laughs> is it bones? Is it nerves? Is it muscles? Okay. Some kind of muscle issue. Let's see what muscle it is. Okay. Is it a muscle on the right side of the body? No, is it a muscle on the left side? Okay, is it legs, arms, abdomen? Something with your abdomen. Do we need to know anything more about which abdomen muscle it is before we can release it? We can address it? Yeah. No. Okay. Um, do, do we need to know anything more about this? No. Okay. So we're realigning your abdomen muscles, realigning your abdomen muscles, realigning your abdomen muscles. Are these abdomen muscles aligned? Yes. Okay, is there any other muscle misalignment that's contributing to uh, speech impediments that we can address right now? No. Okay. Let's see. Is there any other issue on the body code chart contributing to the speech impediment that we can address right now? Yeah. Something on the right side. Is it pathogens? Is it structural? Another structural. It's bones, nerves, muscles. Is it connective tissue? Okay, it's connective tissue. Okay. Is it something on the right side? Yeah, is it disc or a tendon? Okay, some kind of tendon. Do we need to know anything more about this tendon misalignment before we can realign it? No. Okay, realigning this tendon. Realigning this tendon. Is this tendon now aligned? Yes. Okay, is there any other connective tissue issues we can address right now? No. Okay, is there any other misalign? Is there any other misalignments that are contributing to this uh, speech impediment? Yes. Is it bones? Is it nerves? Is it muscles? Is it connective tissue? Okay, it's more connective tissue. Is it something on the right side? Is it something on the right side? No, is it fascia? Okay. Um, do we need to know anything about this fascia dist facial distortion before we can re re uh, release it? No. Okay, releasing this facial distortion, releasing this facial distortion, releasing this facial distortion. Is this facial distortion now um, released? Is this facial distortion released? Yes. Okay. Is there any other connective tissue issue we can address right now 
that will help with the speech impediment no okay um, is there any other misalignments structural misalignments that we can address that are contributing to this uh, speech impediment no okay is there anything else on this body code chart contributing to the speech impediment yes is it something on the right side no is it something on the left side okay is it energy is it toxicity okay it's toxicity heavy metals free radicals EM spectrum is it chemicals okay so I'm going to chemical toxicity okay is this whoops is this something on the right side is it food additives is it medical okay it's medical toxicity is it vaccination or medication it's medication okay do we need to know anything more about this medication toxicity before we can release it no okay releasing this medication toxicity is this medication toxicity gone yes okay is there any other um, is there any other chemical toxicity that we can address that would help him with this problem now okay is there anything else on the body code chart contributing to this um, speech impediment that we can address right now no okay so let me go on to one of the other issues we might come back to it there might be something else your body wants us to work on first so let, okay. me, let me see uh, the you ask me to remind you about the heart wall yeah heart wall that's right okay let's work on your heart wall does does AJ still have a heart wall? Does he have a hidden heart wall? Okay, uh, you still have a hidden heart wall. Um, let's see. Is is there any trapped emotion we can release right now from AJ's hidden heart wall? Yes. Is it in the B column or the A column? Okay, it's A column. Okay. Is it an odd row or an even row? Okay, it's even row. Row two, row four, row six. Is it humiliation, jealousy, longing, lust, overwhelm? Okay, it's a trapped. Hold on one second. Take off my jacket. Okay, it's a trapped emotion. It's overwhelmed before we can release it? No. Good. Releasing this trapped emotion of overwhelm from AJ's heart wall or hidden heart wall. Is this overwhelm gone? Yes. Is there any other trapped emotion we can release from AJ's hidden heart wall? Yes. Is it in is it in the B column or the A column? It's A column. Is it odd row or even row? Row 2, row 4, row 6. Humiliation, jealousy, longing, lust. Is it overwhelm? Okay, it's overwhelm again. Do we need to know anything more about this before we can release it? No. <coughs> Releasing this overwhelm from AJ's body. Is this overwhelm gone? Yes. Is there any other trapped emotion we can release from his heart wall now? Yes. Is it in the B column or the A column? Is it odd row or even row? Row 2, row 4, row 6. Okay, it's row six again. Is it is it overwhelm again? Yes. Do we need to know anything more about it? No. Releasing this overwhelm from AJ's body. Releasing this overwhelm from AJ's body. Is this overwhelm gone from AJ's body? Yes. Is there any other trapped emotion we can release from AJ's heart wall now? No. Can we? Is there any trapped emotion we can release from his hidden heart wall now? Does AJ still have a heart wall? No. Okay. Um. I'm going to check in the next couple of days because sometimes when we release all the heart wall emotions there might still be one left over and I'll just release that in the next couple of days if there is. But right now, is it, does AJ have a heart wall? No. Does he have a hidden heart wall? No. Okay. Your, your, your body's saying your heart wall's gone. So, it, and I found only in a few cases it doesn't completely release when we ask that. There might be something else we'll check later. Um, let's see. Okay. Let's look at one of the other issues for right now. Is uh, let me go back to the speech. Okay. Is there anything else contributing to AJ's speech impediment that we can address right now? Yeah. Is it something on the right side? No. Something on the left side. Is it energy? Is it toxicity? Is it heavy metals, free radicals, EM spectrum, chemicals? Okay, it's more chemicals. Is it something on the right side? Yes. Food additives, medication. Okay, it's medication toxicity. Um, is it vaccination or medication? Okay, it's medication. Do we need to know anything more about it before we can release it now? Releasing this medication toxicity from AJ's body. Is this medication toxicity gone? Yeah. Okay. Um, is there any other uh, toxicity that's contributing to this problem? No. Okay. Is there anything else on the body code chart we can address that would help him with any type of speech impediment? No. Okay. Let's go on to one of the other issues that you put here. Let me find them. Uh, let's see. I put it in the... Let me blow this up. Okay, let's see. 
I have to go back. Just go to the history you adopted in last name. Huh? Okay, yeah. Let me find it. Uh, yesterday. Okay, last seven days. Just said last 30 days or something. Let me go back. Yeah. My sky. Oh, here, wait, wait. Just card. Hold on, I keep dropping in the your mail. Okay, I'm trying to. Okay, I, lithium iron, okay, fungal. Okay, crush, just crush. Okay. Okay. So let's let's. Let's go on to this issue. Let's check again on your weight real quick. Um, is there any underlying reason? And then I'll go back to some of these other things. I'm trying to find the exact message, but I have a lot of messages here. Let's... F I can't find it, but l let me just... Let me... I just... Last time we were working on your weight issue, let's w work on that real quick. Is there any underlying reason why... Um, AJ has problems with weight that we can address right now. Yeah, something on the right side, something on the left side. Is it an energy? Emotional, post traumatic, allergy, and trauma? Is it mental? It's a mental energy. Okay. Is it something on the right side? Is it an image? Is it a broadcast message? Need to move the past, the will to die. Okay, it's a will to die energy. Do we need to know anything more about it before we can release it? No. Releasing this will to die energy, releasing this will to die energy, releasing this will to die energy. Is this will to die energy gone? Yes. Okay, is there any other uh, mental energies we can release that would help him with the weight issue? No. Okay, is there any other... Is there any other emotions? Is there any other energies we can release that would help him with weight issue? No. Is there something else on the body code chart that we can address for that would help him lose weight. Yes, yeah, so something on the right side is pathogens, structural. Bones, nerves, muscles, connective tissue, organs, or glands. Okay, so we an organ or gland. Is it a misaligned organ or a misaligned gland? It's a misaligned gland. Let's see. Is it a misaligned gland on the right side? No, on the left side, yes. Is it ovaries, testicles, pineal gland, hypothalamus, pituitary gland? Okay, it's another pituitary gland misalignment. Do we need to know anything about this pituitary gland being misaligned before we can realign it? Yes, we do. Okay, is there an underlying reason why AJ's pituitary gland is misaligned that we can address right now? Yeah. Is it something on the right side or something on the left side? Is it an energy? Is it toxicity? Is it heavy metals, free radicals, EM spectrum? Is it chemicals? Okay, chemicals. Is it something on the right side? Yes. Is it food additives or medical? Is it vaccination or medication? Okay, it's medication toxicity again. Do we need to know anything more about it before we can release it? No. Okay, releasing this medication toxicity from AJ's body. Is this medication toxicity gone? Yes. Okay, one second. Is there anything else affecting... Is there anything else affecting AJ's... Uh, AJ, can you can you turn down your speaker a little? You're breaking in and out. Yeah, your speaker's really loud. Can you turn down your speaker? I'm picking up your your son and your your mom your wife's conversation really loud. Yeah, but it's it's really the I don't know if there's a way I can turn down my speaker. Let me let, let me turn down my sound because I'm picking up I'm picking up your wife and your son really loud. And it's breaking up my conversation. Hold on one second. I'll just turn down my speaker. Okay. I just because this is on video and it's going to be online, I, I don't want Everyone listening to your wife and son's conversation. I don't, I don't know what. Uh, I don't understand the language, so I don't know if any <laughs> what people are saying. 
Okay. Um, I turned okay, it down uh, a little bit. Mute my speaker when you're done. I'll talk. Okay. Okay. That 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 would work better. Okay. So, is there any other anything else address affecting AJ's uh, pituitary gland that we can address right now? Yes. Is it something on the right side? Is it pathogen? Is it structural? Okay. Is it just the misalignment? Yeah. Is it anything else we need to know about the misalignment? No. Okay, realigning AJ's pituitary gland, realigning AJ's pituitary gland. Is AJ's pituitary gland aligned? Yeah. Okay, is there any other, anything else contributing to AJ's, uh, AJ having weight problem? Yeah, is it something on the right side? Is it a pathogen? Is it structural? Okay, structural bones, nerves, muscles, connective tissue, organs, or glands. It's another organ or gland. Just to tell you what the pituitary gland does, because that was misaligned and your body's saying, that was contributing to weight issue. Pituitary gland uh, does de works with yeah weight gain, high blood pressure, fatigue, dehydration, and hormone imbalance. Those are some of the most common symptoms for a pituitary problem. So, and also the pituitary gland uh, regulates yeah your metabolism, temperature, water absorption by the kidneys, thyroid gland function, and other. Uh, aspects of childbirth, pregnancy, blood pressure, growth, all those things. So yeah, it was misaligned. Okay, now it's aligned. Is there? There's another organ or gland misalignment. Let's see what that is. Is it an organ or is it a gland? Okay. Um, is it a gland on the right side of the chart? Is it a gland on the right side? Yeah. Is it thyroid, pancreas, adrenals, prostate, thymus gland? Okay, it's thymus gland again. Um, is there anything of contributing to this thymus gland that we need to know about? Okay, yeah, we, let's work on what's what's causing the problem first before we realign it. Okay, is this thymus gland misalignment? Is there something on the body code chart contributing to that? Yeah, is it something on the right side? Is it pathogens? Is it structural? Is it nutritional? pH balance, foods, herbs, nutrients, dehydration. Okay, so. Because your pituitary gland was misaligned, which regulates your dehydration, um, once again, dehydration is coming up, so just drink more water, try to get more pure water, as I said last time. Um, besides dehydration, is there anything else contributing to why the thymus gland is misaligned that we can address right now? Yeah, something on the right side or something on the left side? Is it energy? Is it emotional, post-traumatic, allergy, or intolerance? Okay, it's an allergy or intolerance. Is it some on the right side is a physical or a thought or idea allergy okay do we need to know what this thought or idea allergy is before we can release it yes we do okay is this thought that uh, AJ is allergic to is it the thought of being thin yeah okay do we need to know anything more about it before we can re release it now okay so many people have this that have any type of weight issue they just have allergic reaction to thin people or thinness um, for whatever reason. So releasing this allergy to the idea of being thinner. Is this aller has this allergy been released? Yes. Okay, is there anything else contributing? Any anything oh, sorry, you just messaged me something. Uh so I have to pull up your message now. You can you can unmute yourself and just talk if you want. No, go ahead, go ahead. I was just laughing. Oh, okay. <laughs> yeah, a lot of people have some some funny allergies. Okay. Sorry, I was checking out the last messages, and, and your, your current message is buried under everything else. So let me go back to, okay. This thought or ideology is gone, yes. Okay. Is there anything else affecting AJ's thymus gland that we can address right now? Something on the right side? Is it pathogens? Is it structural? Is it just the misalignment? Yeah. Is there anything else besides the misalignment? No. Okay, realigning. AJ's thymus gland, realigning AJ's thymus gland. Okay, is this age, is this thymus gland realigned? Yes. Okay, for some reason it got realigned now. I think I twice or three times realigned your thymus gland. So your body's saying one of the contributing factors is dehydration. The other one was that allergy. But we'll see if it stays aligned. Is there anything else? we can address on the body code chart that's contributing to AJ having problems with with weight. Yeah, is it something on the right side? Is it pathogens? Is it structural? Is it bones? Is it nerves? Is it muscles? Is it connective tissues? Organs or glands? Okay, it's an organ or gland. Is it a misaligned organ or a misaligned gland? Okay, it's a misaligned gland. 
There's a gland on the right side. Is it thyroid, pancreas, adrenal, prostate, it's thymus again. I think this is the third or fourth time we've done this on your thymus. Let's see if there's anything else besides the misalignment. Is there anything else affecting AJ's thymus gland that we can address? Yeah, is it something on the right side? Is it pathogens? Is it structural? Is it bones? Is it nerves? Is it muscles? Is it connective tissue? Okay. Some connective tissue issue. Is it something on the right side? No, it's something on the left side. Is it fascia? Yeah. Do we need to know anything about the facial distortion before we can realign it or we can release it? No. Okay, releasing this facial distortion from AJ's body. Okay, is this facial distortion gone? Yeah. Okay, is there any other thing that's affecting AJ's thymus gland that we can address right now? Yeah, is it something on the right side? Is it pathogens? Is it structural? Is it bones? Is it nerves? Is it muscles? Okay, is this muscle on the right side? Yeah, is it in the head, in the neck, in the chest? Okay, do we need to know anything more about it before we can release it? No. Okay, releasing this chest muscle or realigning this chest muscle. Is this chest muscle now aligned? Yeah. Okay. Is there anything else contributing to the problems with AJ's thymus gland that we can address right now? Yeah. Is it a misalignment? Okay. It's a misalignment again. Is it bones? Is it nerves? Is it muscles? Is it connective tissues, organs, or glands? Okay. Is it a misaligned organ or misaligned gland? Okay. It's a misaligned gland. Is it the thymus gland? No. Okay. Is it a, a gland on this side? No. Is it a gland on this side? Yeah. Is it ovaries, testicle, pineal gland, hypothalamus gland, pituitary gland? Okay. Is is AJ's pituitary gland aligned? No. Do we need to know anything more about the problem with his pituitary gland? Yes. Okay, they're both affecting each other for some reason. One's in the brain, one's above the heart. Okay, is there anything else affecting AJ's pituitary gland that we can address right now? Yeah, is there something on the right side? Pathogens, structurals, and nutritional. pH balance, foods, herbs, nutrients, dehydration. Okay, it's dehydration. Um, has the water he's been drinking lately been good enough? Does he need to drink more pure water? Okay. So yeah, once again, your body's saying the water's not pure enough. So I don't know how you can get the purest water, but I've always recommended fil only thing is filters. Uh, let's see. Besides, besides dehydration, is there anything else affecting AJ's pituitary gland we can address right now? Yeah, is there something on the right side, something on the left side? Is it energy? Is it toxicity? Heavy metals, free radicals, EM spectrum. Okay, it's EM spectrum. Is it something on the right side? Is it microwave, fluorescent light? Is it color? Okay, it's a color spectrum. Do we need to know anything more about this uh, color spectrum radiation before we can release it? No. Okay, releasing this color spectrum radiation from AJ's body. I'm reading a book right now about the, the EMF radiation and it's really interesting. Actually, color is we don't we don't see all the the levels of color that go into our body because we can't see it's infrared and ultraviolet but there's so much things that color does to our body from the sunlight and from other sources so let's see and actually blocking UV for a lot of people it's not good so sunglasses and UV protection sunscreen it, it blocks a lot of UV that's really important to your body which I found out so let's see, is there anything else contributing to problems with AJ's pituitary gland that I can address right now? No. Okay, is there anything else contributing to problems with this thymus gland that I can address right now? Yeah. So I'm on the right side. Pathogen, is it structural? Is it bones? Is it nerves? Is it muscles? Is it connective tissue? Okay, connective tissue again. Is it something? Whoops. Ah. Okay, is it something on the right side? Is it disc or tendon? Okay, do we need to know anything more about this tendon problem before we can realign it? No. Realigning this tendon. Realigning this tendon. Is this tendon now aligned? Yeah. Okay, is there anything else? Excuse me. Anything else affecting AJ's thymus gland that we can address right now? Yeah, is it something on the right side? Is it pathogens? Is it structural? Is it bones? Is it nerves? Okay, it's nerves. Let's see. Is it something on the right side? Is it in the head or the neck or in the chest? Is it one of the is it the thoracic spinal cord or the spinal nerves? Okay, do we need anything more about it before we can realign it? No. Realigning these spinal nerves, realigning these spinal nerves. Okay. 
Are these spinal nerves aligned? Yeah. Is there any other nerve misalignment that we can address that would help him with the thymus gland? No. Okay. Is there any other things on this uh, body code chart contributing to his problems with the thymus gland? Yeah. Is it something on the right side? Pathogens? Is it structural? Are the bones? Is it nerves? Is it muscles? Is it connective tissue? It's more connective tissue. Something on the right side. Is it disc or tendon? Okay. We need to know anything more about this tendon problem before we can realign it now. Realigning this tendon, realigning this tendon. Is this tendon now aligned? Yeah. Okay, is there anything else contributing to AJ's thymus gland problem that we can address right now? Yeah, is it something on the right side? Is it pathogens? Is it structural? Is it bones? Is it nerves? Is it muscles? Is it connective tissue again? Okay, is it something on the right side? Yeah, is it disc? Is it tendon? It's another tendon. Do we know anything more about it before we can realign it now? Okay, realigning this tendon. Realigning this tendon. Okay. Is this tendon now aligned? Yeah. Okay. Is there I just this thought just came to me. A lot of a lot of people have parents that had a weight problem and they said a lot of bad things about skinny people, so we might subconsciously a lot of our a lot of our subconscious imprinting gets happened from the time we're born till the time we're seven. So that allergy of thin people might have been from something your, one of your parents said when you were young, from the time you're, before you were seven. Uh, is there anything else contributing to AJ's thymus gland that we can address right now? Yeah, is something on the right side? Pathogen is structural. Is it bones, nerves, muscle, connective tissue, organs, or glands? Okay, so the organ or gland. Something on the right side. Is it a, is it a misaligned organ? Yeah. Okay. Is it an organ on the right side of the chart? Yes. Is it the heart? Yes. Okay, good. The, th the thymus is right on top of the heart, so that makes sense. Do we need to know anything about this heart misalignment before we can realign it now? And because we released the heart wall, that also affects the li alignment of your heart. A lot of times we can't address the heart, heart alignment until we get rid of the heart wall. So now that the heart wall is gone, it, it helped us. Okay, realigning AJ's heart, realigning AJ's heart. <laughs> Is AJ's heart now aligned? Yeah. Is there anything else contributing to uh, misalignment, the misalignment with this thymus gland that we can address right now? Yes. Okay. Is it something on the right side? No. Is it something on the left side? Is it an energy? Is it emotional, post-traumatic, allergy, and trauma? Is it mental? Okay. It's a mental energy. Is it something on the right side? Is it an image? Is it a broadcast message? Does it need to move the past? Okay. It's a need to move the past. Let me just blow my nose real quick. One second. Okay. Okay. I spilled some chalk from my work in my car. There's chalk dust all over my dashboard. I need to vacuum it. But my my car vacuum cleaner broke and here I am on in my car on the beach with dust all over the dashboard. Okay, my nose is going weird. Good thing it's a sunny day today. Okay, is so it something this this need to move the past for AJ? Is it, uh, is it an issue he had? Do we need to know anything more about this past issue? Yes. Was it something before the age of 20 or before the age of 10? Okay, was it something before the age of 5? Yes, was it before the age of 1? No. Was it about age 1 or about age 2 or about age 3 or about age 4 or about age 5? Okay, something about age 5. If you can unmute yourself real quick. Do, do, yeah. you, do you recall anything that might have happened to you when you were around f between the age of four and six? Okay. Do, do you recall anything that might have happened to you between the age of four and six years old? Sometime around five years old, give or take a year. Something that's a dramatic incident in your life. Okay. Do we need to know anything more about this this uh, incident? No. Okay. Can we move it to his past? Yes. Okay. You can mute yourself now. Okay. I'm I'm moving this this incident from the age of five to to AJ's past. Okay. Is this now in his past? Yes. Okay. It might come up to you in dreams or something over the next day. You might have a memory of something that happened. But anyway, it's moved to your past now. It's not blocking your future. So is there anything else on the body code chart contributing to problems with AJ's thymus gland? Yeah, is it something on the right side? 
Okay, is this, let's see, I'm going back to the wrong chart here. Is it something, is it a pathogen, is it structural, is it bones, is it nerves, is it muscles, is it connective tissue? More connective tissue issue. Okay. Is it something on the right side? Yeah, is it disc, is it tendon? Okay, do we need to know anything about this tendon misalignment before we can realign it? Yes, we do. Okay, is this tendon somewhere near his heart? Yeah. Do we need to know anything more about it? Yes. Okay, releasing this, uh, realigning this tendon, connecting his heart, or by his heart. Is this tendon now aligned? Yeah. Okay. Is there any other things we can address on the body code chart uh, that's contributing to AJ's thymus misalignment? No. Can, is his thymus now aligned? Yeah. Okay. Is there anything else affecting his thymus? Anything else affecting his heart or his pituitary gland? No. Okay, good. Is his thymus gland happy? Yeah. Is his heart happy? Yes. Is his pituitary gland happy? Yes. Okay. Let's see. Is there anything else contributing to problems that um, AJ might have with his weight? Yeah. Is it something on the right side or something on the left side? Is it energy? Is it toxicity? Is it heavy metals, free radicals, EM spectrum? Is it chemicals? Okay, chemical. Um, with most people, any type of weight issue, it's a, a lot of toxicity in their body is a, one, a big reason for many people because the fat cells act as as storage for f toxicity so it doesn't hurt your organs or glands. So is it something on the right side? Yeah, is it food additives? Is it medical? Yeah, it's medical. Is it vaccination or medication? Okay, it's a medication toxicity. Do we need to know anything more about it before we can release it? No. Okay, releasing this medication toxicity from AJ's body. Is this medication toxicity gone? Yeah. Is there any other um, chemicals contributing to this weight problem that we can address right now? No. Okay. Is there anything else on the body code chart contributing to problems uh, AJ's having with weight? Yes. Is there something on the right side? Is it pathogens? Is it structural? Is it nutritional? pH balance? Is it foods? Is it herbs? Is it nutrients? Is it dehydration? Magnetic field? Okay. It's magnetic field again and this is with everybody right now. Um, I started asking myself because I, I always like to Everywhere I sit down on a chair, I like to uh, take my shoes off and 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 cross my legs. And I started asking myself if that's uh, contributing to why I have problems with my magnetic energy. And my body said, yeah. So if I keep my feet on the ground, even when I'm sitting down on the couch or sitting down at a chair on a computer, just putting the feet on the ground, even if it's in your house, is helping your body ground. So that might help you just keeping your feet wherever you're sitting to try to uh, sit upright and keep your feet on the ground but the, the best way is getting your feet outside into the dirt but that's hard for a lot of people at this time of year or wherever they live so let's see is there anything else besides magnetic field deficiency that's contributing to AJ's uh, weight problem yes yeah, something on the right side is it pathogens is it structural okay it's structural is it bones nerves muscle connective tissue organs or glands okay is it a misaligned organ or a misaligned gland? It's a misaligned gland. Is it on the right side or the left side? Okay. Left side. Let's see what those are. Is it the ovaries? Is it the uh, testicles? Is it the pituitary, pine, pineal gland, hypothalamus gland, pituitary gland? Okay. Is there more things contributing to his pituitary gland that we can address right now? Yeah. Okay. Keeps coming up. Pituitary gland. Let's see. Something else is affecting it. Okay. Wow. I, I I took off all my jackets because I'm getting hot, which is strange because it's really cold in Japan, but today in my Okay. Uh let's see. Is was this something that's contributing to his his pituitary gland, something on the right side, yeah. Is it pathogen? Is it structural? Is it bones? Is it nerve? Is it muscle? Okay, it's a muscle misalignment. Is it something on the right side? Is it in the head, and the neck, and the chest? Do we need anything more about it before we can realign it? No. Okay, realigning this chest muscle that's misaligned in his chest. Realigning this muscle in, in AJ's chest. Is this chest muscle aligned? Yeah. Is there any other muscle misalignments contributing to problems with the pituitary gland? No. Okay. Is there anything else on the body code chart contributing to uh, this misalignment in his pituitary gland. Yeah, is it something on the right side? Is it pathogens? Is it structural? Is it bones? Is it nerves? Is it muscle? Okay, it's, is it connective tissue? Yes. Okay. Something on the right side? Is it disc? Is it tendons? Okay. 
Do we need to know anything about this tendon misalignment before we can realign it? Yes, we do. Okay, is this tendon, is there another thing that's causing this tendon misalignment? Yeah. Okay, let's see what that cause is, why this tendon is misaligned. Okay, is it something on the right side of the chart, something on the left side? Is it an energy? Is it emotional, post-traumatic, allergy and taunts? Is it mental? Is it offensive? Okay, is it offensive energy? Is it courting? Is it post-hypnotic suggestion? Is it a saboteur? Okay, do we need to know anything more about the saboteur before we can real before we can release it? No. Okay, releasing the saboteur from AJ's body. Is this saboteur gone from AJ's body? Yes. Okay, is there anything else contributing to why this muscle is misaligned that we can address right now? Yeah, something on the right side? Is it pathogen? Is it structural? Is it bones? Is it nerves? Is it muscle? Okay. Is it that's is it that same muscle? Yeah. Do we need to know anything more about it? No. Okay, realigning that muscle that was it having a problem. Realigning that muscle. Is that muscle now aligned? Yeah. Is there anything else contributing to the misalignment of its pituitary gland that we can address now? Yes. Something on the right side or something on the left side? The energy is a toxicity. Heavy metals, free radicals, EM spectrum, chemicals, microbial. Okay, it's a microbial toxicity. Is it something on the right side? Is it parasites? Is it bacteria? Okay, do we need anything more about this bacteria before we can we can release it? No. Okay, good thing it's showing up on just toxicity, which isn't that bad. So releasing this bacteria from AJ's body. Is this bacteria gone? Yeah. Is there anything else on the body code chart contributing to problems with AJ's uh, misalignment of its pituitary gland? Yeah, is it something on the right side? Is it pathogens? Is it structural? Bones, nerves, muscles, connective tissue. Okay, it's a connective tissue misalignment. Is it something on the right side? Is it disc? Is it tendons? Okay, do we know anything about this tendon before we can realign it now? Realigning this tendon, realigning this tendon. Is this tendon now aligned? Yeah. Okay, is there anything else? Let's see. Anything else on this body code chart that is contributing to problems with AJ's pituitary gland being misaligned? Yeah. Something on the right side, something on the left side. Energy or toxicity? Heavy metals, free radicals, EM spectrum, chemicals, microbial. Something on the right side or something on the left side? Is it fungus or uh, mold? Okay. So this is good. The, the mold is showing up now on the toxicity side instead of the par the pathogen side, which is a lot better. Do we? Oh no, sorry. Is this mold or is this fungus? Okay, it's fungus. Sorry. Um, is this fungus? Do we know anything more about this fungus? No. Okay, realigning or uh, re releasing this fungus from AJ's body. Is this fungus gone from AJ's body? Yeah. Okay. Is there any other? Uh, microbial toxicities that's contributing to problems with the pituitary gland? No. Okay, is there anything else on the body code chart contributing to AJ's pituitary gland being misaligned? Yeah. Is something on the right side? Pathogens? Is it structural? Is it bones? Is it nerves? Is it muscles? Okay, do we need this muscle that's misaligned? Is it on the right side? Is it the head or the neck or the chest? Okay, it's the chest again. Um, do we need to know anything more about this muscle alignment, misalignment before we can realign it? Yes. Okay, is there something contributing to that? Yes. Okay, is that thing contributing to this chest alignment, misalignment? Is it something on the r right side or something on the left side? Is it an energy? Yes. Emotional, post-traumatic, allergy, and taunts. Is it mental? Okay, it's a mental ener energy. Something on the right side. Is it an image, broadcast message, need to move the past, will to die? Okay, do we need anything more about this will to die before we can release it from AJ's body? No, good. Releasing this will to die energy from AJ's body. Is this will to die energy gone? Yes. Okay. Is there any other thing? Okay. Is there anything else contributing to the misalignment problem with AJ's pituitary gland that we can address right now? Yes. Something on the right side, something on the left side. Energy or toxicity? Heavy metals, free radicals, EM spectrum, chemicals. Okay. Is it a, something on the right side of this chart? Yes. Food additives or medical? Is it vaccination or medication? Okay, it's medication again. Do we need anything more about it before we can re uh, release it? No. Releasing this medical toxicity from AJ's body. Um, I've worked with a lot of people that we released medication toxicity and they say, well, I don't take any medications, but some of these toxicities can be from foods we take. Uh, a, lot of, a lot of meat now is treated with hormones and other medications. So we get a lot of medication toxicity from uh, different foods we eat now. 
Okay, so did we release this medication toxicity app? Okay, is there anything else um, contributing to why AJ's pituitary gland is misaligned that we can address right now? No. Is his pituitary gland aligned? Okay. Is there anything else affecting his pituitary gland? No. Anything else affecting his thymus gland or heart? No. Okay, is his pituitary gland happy? Yes. Okay, good. So since your pituitary gland works with dehydration and weight gain, it's going to hopefully help with both of those issues. Maybe the the water wasn't just getting uh, regulated right by your pituitary gland because of the misalignment, because of those other things. Okay, is there anything else on the body code chart contributing to AJ's uh, problems you might have with weight? Yeah, something on the right side is the pathogens, is it structural? Is it bones, nerves, muscles, connective tissue, organs, or glands? Get another organ or gland. Misaligned organ, yes. Okay. Is there something on the right side, something on the left side? Is it bladder, uterus, ileal sickle valve, small intestine, colon, kidney? Is it the right kidney or the left kidney? Okay, it's usually always the left kidney. Um, is there something contributing to this left kidney being misaligned that we can address right now? No. Do we just need to realign it? Yes. Okay, realigning AJ's left kidney. And as I read before, your pituitary gland regulates the flow of, of, of water into your kidneys and your, your liver, so that might be why this got misaligned to the left kidney. The left kidney is usually the the main, or is it the is the right the main? Yeah, the right's the main. Left is usually the backup, or I forget the order. Anyway, your left kidney was misaligned. So is the left kidney now aligned? Yeah. Okay. Is there anything else contributing to why? Left is the main. I'm sorry. Say that again. Okay. I didn't. I didn't hear you. Sorry. Okay. Well, anyway, let's go on to. Uh, is there anything else contributing to problems AJ might have with his weight that we can address right now? Yeah, something on the right side, something on the left side. Is it energy? Emotional, post-traumatic, allergy intolerance, is it mental? Okay, it's another mental energy. Something on the right side. Is it an image? Is it a broadcast? Does it need to move the past will to die? Do we need to know anything more about this will to die before we can release it? Yes. Did he pick it up from someone? Did he pick it up from one of his family members? Did he pick it up from his wife? No. Did he pick it up from his mom? Yes. Do we need to know anything more about it before we can release it? Yes. Did his mom inherit this? Yes. Did she inherit it from her mom or from her dad? Okay. From your grandpa? Did AJ's grandpa inherit this? No. Okay. Was this his energy? Yeah. Okay. Do we need to know anything more about it before we can release it? No. Okay. Releasing this will to die energy from AJ from his mom and from his grandpa and if anyone else picked it up or if he passed it on to his son releasing it from them okay a lot of people that have kids that I've worked on uh, we worked on them and the kids had a lot of healing done to them and they we didn't even ask about the kid so most of these energies were released from you we don't even have to ask a lot of them got passed on to kids and a lot of them get released from the kid automatically just by just by doing it from you. So is this from his mom? Yes. Is it gone from his grandpa? Did he pass it on to his kid? Yes. Did it release from his kid? Yes. Okay. Is there any other thing on the body code chart? Is there any other mental energy contributing to problems AJ might have with his weight? No. Okay. We were actually working on your misaligned. Okay. Is there anything else affecting that organ we were addressing right now yeah and I forget what organ it was oh uh, left kidney okay left kidney is there anything else contributing to problem with the left kidney yeah something on the right side something on the left side is it energy is it toxicity heavy metals free radicals EM spectrum chemicals is it microbial okay left kidney microbial is it something on the right side is it parasites is it bacteria okay it's bacteria do we know anything more about it before we can uh, release it no okay releasing this bacteria from AJ's left kidney. Is the is the bacteria gone? Yeah. Is there anything else uh, affecting his left kidney that we can address right now? Yes. Okay. Something on the right side. Is it a pathogen? Structural. Bones, nerves, is it muscles? Okay. Is the muscle on the right side? Is it head, neck, chest? Okay. Do we know anything more about it before we can realign it? No. Realigning this chest muscle, realigning this chest muscle. 
Is this chest muscle now aligned? Yeah. Is there any other... Is there anything else affecting his left kidney that we can address right now? Yeah, something on the right side, something on the left side. Is it energy? Emotional, post-traumatic, allergy, and tones? Is it mental? Is it offensive? Okay. Is it a need for... Uh, let's see. Is it a... What's offensive energy? I haven't memorized, but my brain's not working right now. Okay, it's a courting, post-hypnotic suggestion, a saboteur. Okay, it's another saboteur. Do we need to know anything more about it before we can, rele we can release it? Yes, we do. Did this saboteur get placed in his body before the age of 20, before the age of 10, before the age of 5? About age 5, or about age 6, about age 7, about age 8, okay. About age 8, do we need to know anything more about it before we can release it? No. For some reason, your body wanted us to know. It's not really important, though. Uh, well, saboteurs get placed in our body all different times by different people subconsciously, so it, we don't really need to know much about it. Okay, releasing the saboteur from AJ's body from about age 8. Is this saboteur gone? Yeah. Okay, is there anything else on the body code chart that's contributing to problems with AJ's left kidney that we can address right now? Yeah. Is it something on the right side or something on the left side? Is it energy? Is it toxicity? Heavy metals, free radicals, even spectrum, is it chemicals? Okay, some kind of chemical toxicity. Is it something on the right side? Yeah, food additives, medica medical, yeah. Okay. Um, vaccination or medication? It's medication again. Do we need nothing more about it before we can release it? No. Releasing this medication toxicity from AJ's body. Okay, is this, is this medic medication toxicity gone? Yeah. Okay, is there any anything any other chemical toxicity contributing to problems with this kidney? No. Okay. Is there anything else affecting AJ's left kidney that we can address right now? No. Is this left kidney aligned? Yeah. Is it happy? No. Is there anything else that's contributing to why it's unhappy? Yeah. Something on the right side or something on the left side? Energy or toxicity? Heavy metals, free radicals, EM spectrum, is it chemicals? Something on the right side or something on the left side? Okay, this is on the left side. Is it environmental or recreational drugs? Okay, recreational drugs. Something on the right side. Is it alcohol, amphetamines, is it caffeine? Okay, so caffeine can cause our kidneys to have all kinds of problems. Do we know anything more about this caffeine toxicity before we can release it now? Releasing this caffeine toxicity from AJ's left kidney. Okay, is this caffeine toxicity gone? Yeah. Is there any other... Uh, recreational drug toxicity we can release from AJ's body? No. Okay, is there any other thing on this body? Any other chemicals that are causing problems with his... Any other chemical toxicity comes problems with this kidney? Yeah, something on the right side? Food additives or medical? Medical. Is it vaccination or medication? Okay, more medication. Do we know anything more about it before we can release it? No. Releasing this medication toxicity from AJ's body. Okay, is this medical toxicity gone? Yeah. Okay. Um, is there any other chemicals contributing to problems with this kidney we can address right now? No. Is there anything else on this body code chart contributing to problems with this left kidney we can address right now? Yeah, something on the right side, something on the left side. Energy or toxicity? Heavy metals, free radicals, EM spectrum, chemicals. Okay, it is more chemicals. Let's see. Is it something on the right side, something on the left side? Is it environmental or recreational drugs? Okay. Is it something on the right side of this chart or something on the left side? Is it tobacco, nightshade, nitric oxide, mushroom, musk, glue, marijuana, LSD? Okay. Um, do we know anything more about this LSD toxicity before we can release it? No. Okay, releasing this LSD toxicity. You might have never taken LSD in your life, but who knows? LSD can be in, in many different things. Um, the people who made LSD famous in the 60s and 70s thought it was so cool they should put it in everyone else's things too. So, my dad named me after Timothy Leary, which is the guru of LSD. So, LSD toxicity, I know a lot about it. Okay, did we release this LSD toxicity? Yes. Okay, is there any... And there's other chemicals that are like LSD that can be in our food and stuff that your body might recognize on this chart as LSD. So, let's see. Is there anything else uh, contributing to problems with... AJ's left kidney, yeah. Something on the right side is pathogens, is it structural bones, nerves, muscle, connective tissue. Okay. Okay, is it something on the right side or something on the left side? Is it fascia? Do we need anything more about this facial distortion before we can release it? No. Releasing this facial distortion from 
AJ's body. Is this facial distortion gone? Yeah. Okay. Let's see. Is there anything else contributing to why AJ's uh, kin left kidney is unhappy that we can address right now? Yeah, something on the right side, something on the left side. Energy or toxicity? Heavy metals, free radicals, EM spectrum. Okay, it's EM spectrum. Something on the right side? Is it microwave, fluorescent light? Is it color? Is it sound? Okay, it's sound. Do we know anything more about it before we can release it? No. Releasing the sound, EMFs, radiation from AJ's body. Is this sound radiation gone from AJ's body? Yeah. Okay. Okay, is there... Is there anything that are contributing to why AJ's left kidney is unhappy that we can address right now? No. Is his kidney, left kidney happy now? Yes. Okay, is there anything else contributing to problems with AJ's weight that we can address right now? Yeah. Something on the right side? Pathogens, structural, is it nutritional? Is it pH balance foods? Is it herbs? Is it nutrients? Is it dehydration, magnetic field? Okay, besides the magnetic field, is there anything else contributing to AJ's... Uh, Problems with his weight, yeah. Something on the right side. Pathogens, structural. Is it bones, nerves, muscles, connective tissue, organs, or glands? Okay, it's organs or glands. Is it a misaligned organ or a misaligned gland? It's another misaligned gland. Is it something on the right side? Is it thyroid, pancreas, adrenals, prostate, thymus? Okay, it's the thymus coming up again. Hold on one second. Is there anything contributing to why this thymus gland keeps showing is misaligned that we can address right now? Yeah. Is it something on the on the right side of this chart? Yes. Is it pathogens? Is it structural? Is it bones? Is it nerves? Is it muscles? Okay. Something on the right side. Is it the head, neck, is it the chest? Okay, do we know anything more about this chest muscle alignment before we can realign it? No. Okay, realigning this ch muscle in Asia's chest. Is this muscle now aligned? Yeah. Okay. Let's see. Is there anything else contributing to why AJ's thymus is misaligned that we can address right now? No. Is this thymus aligned now? Is his thymus happy now? Is there anything contributing to why his thymus is unhappy? Yeah. Some on the right side, some on the left side. Energy or toxicity? Heavy metals, free radicals, EM spectrum, is it chemicals? Some on the right side or some on the left side? Okay, is it environmental or recreational drugs? Okay, it's more recreational drugs. Is it something on the right side? Yeah. Is it alcohol, amphetamines, caffeine, cocaine, ecstasy, heroin, ketamine? Okay, ketamine actually is administered by many doctors for many reasons it's it's work it's like a tranquilizer or it can be a painkiller so some of the painkillers and tranquilizers for operations or other things contain ketamine and it, and it could get into your 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 body from animals um, you eat because uh, a lot of the tranquilizers they're giving to animal animals nowadays have ketamine in it so do we need to know anything more about this ketamine toxicity before we can uh, release it? No. Releasing this ketamine from AJ's body. Is this ketamine gone? Yes. Okay, so let me let me try to read your I have to go down on, on this thing to read your message. So one one second here. Um, it slows down everything. Let me go down all the way to the bottom of the conversation because I was trying to find your other message. So let's see. Ah, come on, computer. Okay, you don't eat meat. Okay, yeah, it can be it can be uh, many different reasons why ketamine can be in your body, so that's fine. Okay, um, it can be in dairy. You might not eat dairy, but it might be. <laughs> yeah, LSD can get in our body from different sources. And it, it actually, the body code chart doesn't have every possible possible thing on the chart. So, 
Yeah, so dairy, dairy cows and uh, other eggs, they get shot up with hormones and they get shot up with uh, ketamine-like substances for because the chickens are put in small cages that are they would kill each other if they didn't cut off their beaks and didn't tranquilize them. So and same with cows, they do a lot of tranquilizing of cows. So yeah, ketamine. LSD, it could, it could be a similar chemical that's like LSD. It's been coming up on a lot of people's healings lately, and I don't know why. And it also comes up a lot on me, and my, I never took LSD, but my, my, my dad took a lot of LSD when I was in, before I was conceived and while I was being conceived, so who knows how it can get in people's body. And a lot of people during the 60s and 70s were putting it in other people's things because they thought it was so cool. So... The, the people who made LSD were working for a lot of pharmaceutical companies and a lot of other things during the 60s and 70s, so it can get in our body from many sources. So, let's see. Is there anything else on... Uh, what Were we on recreation? Is there any other recreational drug we need to release? No. Okay. Is there any other thing contributing to why his thymus is unhappy that we can address right now? Yeah. Okay. Is it something? Oh, also, uh, the the people that got busted for making LSD in the '60s and '70s, and actually some of them just turned themselves in in the '80s and '90s and recently because they were on, they were in hiding for many years. They were top up government people. Um, they actually dumped all their supplies when they're getting raided into sewers and into uh, toilets and stuff like that and that those supplies in sewers and stuff can get into our drinking water because they they filter the sewer water to make our drinking water and some of that stays in it even when they they filter it so yeah that can be one reason you get LSD in your body okay is there something else contributing to his thymus gland being unhappy we can address right now something on the right side something on the left side is it energies is it toxicity is it heavy metals free radicals EM spectrum is it chemicals Okay, let's see. Something on the right side, something food additives, is it medical? Okay, is it, is it, uh, is it vaccine, is it medical? Is it a uh, medication, yeah. Do we need anything more about it before we can release it? No. Okay, release this medication toxicity from AJ's body. Is this medication toxicity gone? Yeah. Okay, is there anything else contributing to why his thymus is unhappy that we can address right now? Yeah, something on the right side, something on the left side. Is it an energy? Is it toxicity? Okay, let me see what your your message says. Sorry. Yeah, I understand. You know, I don't take a medication either, but I have medication toxicity coming up all the time in my healings too. I haven't taken any pharmaceutical drugs for many many years. But a lot of this stuff can be in our body from when we were kids. It can be in our body from the food we eat. A lot of these medications are, are in all the foods we're eating. They're putting it, they're doing so many, even with vegetables and fruits, they're doing, they're splicing stuff with animal products and doing all kinds of gene manipulation stuff. And and in California, we had the the law to label genetically modified foods and all the companies that said they didn't use genetically modified foods, they were all the people who were paying to get the law to be overturned. So that obviously they were lying that they were not doing GMO or they wouldn't want to overturn the law that made them label their products. So a lot of this stuff is in our food chain medication toxicity and it's in our water and everything. So let's see, is it something on the right side, something on the left side? Oh, is it something else contributing to his... his uh, uh, thymus gland being unhappy. Yeah, something on the right side, something on the left side. Okay, so is it energy? Is it toxicity? Is it heavy metals? Is it free radicals? EM spectrum? Is it chemicals? Is it microbial? Okay. Do we need, let's see, this microbial toxicity, is it something on the right side of the chart or something on the left side? Okay, it's on the left. Is it mold? Is it fungus? Okay, it's fungus. Do we know anything more about it before we can release it? No. Releasing this uh, fungus from AJ's body. Is this fungus gone from AJ's body? Yeah. Okay. 
Is there anything else contributing to why his thymus gland is still saying unhappy? Yes, I'm on the right side, I'm on the left side. Energy or toxicity? Heavy metals, free radicals, EM spectrum, chemicals, and microbial. Some on the right side, some on the left side. Is it mold? Is it fungus? Okay, do we know anything more about this fungus before we can release it? No. Releasing this fungus from AG's body, releasing this fungus from AG's body. Is this fungus gone from AG's body? Yeah. Okay. Um, is there anything else on this body code chart contributing to why AJ's thymus gland is unhappy? No. Is his thymus gland now happy? Yeah. Is his, is his pituitary gland happy? Yeah. Is his heart happy? Yeah. Okay. Are they all aligned? Yeah. Is there anything else on the body code chart contributing to why he has problems with weight? Yeah. Something on the right side, something on the left side. Energy or toxicity? Heavy metals, free radicals, EM spectrum, it's a chemicals and microbial. Okay. Let's see, is it parasites, is it bacteria? Okay, do we, need anything, do we need to know anything more about this bacteria before we can release it? No. Okay, releasing this bacteria from AG's body, releasing this bacteria from AG's body. Is this bacteria gone from AG's body? Yeah. Okay. Is there anything else contributing to problems with AG's weight that we can address right now? Something on the right side of the chart, something on the left side. Energy or toxicity? Heavy metals, free radicals, EM spectrum, chemicals, is microbial. Something on the right side or something on the left side? Is it mold, is it fungus? Do we, know, do we need to know anything more about it before we can release it? No. Releasing this fungus from AJ's body. Releasing this fungus from AJ's body. Is this fungus gone from AJ's body? Yeah. Is there anything else on the body code chart contributing to AJ's problems with this weight? No. Is there anything else at all we can address right now that would uh, contribute to AJ being healthier and happier? Yeah. Something on the right side of the chart, something on the left side. Is it energy? Is it toxicity? Is it heavy metals, free radicals, EM spectrum, chemicals? Is it microbial? Something on the right side or something on the left side? Is it mold? Is it fungus? Do we need to know anything more about this fungus before we can release it? No. Releasing this fungus from AJ's body. Is this fungus gone from AJ's body? Yeah. Is there anything else that we can address on the body code chart that would contribute to AJ's health or happiness? Yeah. No. Okay. Okay. We went over. We went over an hour now. Um, I'm sorry, ask again? Uh, fungus came up a lot today. Yeah, fungus came up two or three times. Yeah, but luck luckily it's coming up on the toxicity side, which we can release right away. If it, if it was coming up on the pathogen side, then we would need some kind of herbs or something. But your body, I think the first time we did healing on you, it said fungus was on the pathogen side. Which is why yeah. you needed you needed herbs for it, but now it, luckily it's showing up on the toxicity side, which means it's not so bad. So have you have you been have you been doing have you been taking some neem? I I can't hear you, AJ. Have you been have you been taking neem? Are you still there? Whoops. Okay, let, let me. I'm gonna have to leave to work in a little while. Let me see. I can I can call you back a later time and and answer any questions. Let me see. Try to get your message here. Not yeah. Okay. Again. Not yet. Okay. Well. For some reason, yeah, it's showing up now. Some of this is showing up on the. On the right side, which is our left side, which is much better. Um, does does AJ still need neem? Yeah, so just try to get some neem. Um, also, could could AJ use some? Uh, could he use? I think last time your body said you can use uh, oil. What was the oil? It was coconut oil. Could AJ use coconut oil? Yeah, coconut oil is really good for taking bacteria, fungus, mold, everything out of your body too. So I cook with I cook with the uh, coconut oil all the time now. It's one of the best oils for your brain too, and for weight weight loss too. Coconut oil helps too. Okay, so I gotta I gotta leave to work now. Um, if you have any other questions, email me later, and I'll just I'll just test your body on those and send you back by email. So how's your how's your how's your, wi how's your wife doing? Fine. Good. Did she notice any any change after the last the healing we did? Okay, so yeah, let's let's talk again by email. I gotta go to work now. 
So All right, okay. have, a, have a good day. Take care. Bye. Bye-bye. Bye. Thank you. How do I... Okay. For those of you watching the video, if you're trying to stop this video, it's really hard. You got to go down on this little bottom thing and click on this thing, and then that comes up. So, so before I couldn't find that, and then you got to push stop on that. So that's kind of hard. This program.